if we can't look to the federal government, we shouldn't. If, look if to we the shouldn't, we shouldn't. What is our response to if we live in states like like California, where you feel like some of our foundational, really God given rights, but but in the Constitution empowered rights to do things like you know our First Amendment to gather religious liberty, all this thing. What do we do in the in the context of that? Well, the first thing you have to remember is you didn't get here overnight. Right. Okay, so what we're dealing with are the consequences of decade after decade of lack of interaction, lack of governance right. over your governors, and ignorance and apathy. Samuel Adams said this, no people will tamely surrender their liberties nor be easily subdued when knowledge is diffused and virtue is preserved. He said, but on the contrary, when the people become universally ignorant and debauched in their manners, they will sink underneath their own weight without the aid of foreign invaders. Wow. So what you're dealing with here in California is, is, a, is a universal ignorance to the source of your rights. Right. Your rights don't come from Gavin Newsom, so he doesn't have the authority to control them. Your rights come from God. They're yours inalienably. They're yours inherently by birth. And you have the authority as people to say no. So the solution has to be at the personal level right. and at the community level, right. right? So we are a constitutional republic and not a democracy. We are a constitutional republic because we expect the people to be together and work as a unit. Right. A democracy is one, every man for himself unless he gets to be part of the majority today. Because right. democracies are majority rule. Right. And if you're in the minority, then that's your fault, right? right. You join with yeah. the majority to get yeah. power. So solution number one, education, okay? Educate. Educate, you've got to know how, I mean, people run around with pocket constitutions of the US Constitution, do a man on the street survey. How many of them have a pocket California Constitution? <laughs> That's true. Right? I don't even have one. Your California Constitution is the supreme law of yeah. California, second only to the Constitution of yeah. the United States. And it's more important that the Constitution of California be known because the majority of what happens in your life on the personal level is reserved to yeah, California. Number two, you need a constitutional sheriff. Your sheriff is the most powerful person in your county. Wow. Your sheriff is not a hireling of the state, right. not a hireling of the county, not a hireling of the city. Your sheriff is a constitutionally established representative of the people. Wow. And his oath requires him not to blindly enforce the right. law. His oath requires him to defend the rights of the people even against laws like Gavin Newsom is putting out. So a, 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 a sheriff that understands and their role. And we're seeing that in some and you're counties seeing across that, California. Right? You're yeah. seeing it in counties all across, yeah. the, all across the country. Sheriffs right. are understanding this. Right. So a sheriff should be standing in front of the businesses and saying, no, you're going to stay open and, and I'm going to protect you. And constitutionally, you. we can do that. Absolutely. Okay. That's number three. Peaceful noncompliance. I have a pet peeve. Civil disobedience. I hate that word. Why? Because we're not being disobedient. That's good. We are not being really disobedient, good. right? So all the rights, all the power in government emanates from the people. It's right. in your constitution, right? Yeah. So when government exercises a power that's not been delegated, they are being disobedient to the people. They're being disobedient to the supreme law of the state. What we're doing then is we're engaging in, in, in peaceful non-compliance, which in course enforces the law right. on the government who is right. being disobedient to it. So education, constitutional sheriff, um, uh, so, uh, peaceful non-compliance, and then you have to be active. Yeah. We've got to stop believing that voting controls government. Voting does not control government. It's never supposed to control government. Voting is what you do when you live in a republic. Right. That's how you pick who represents you. Right. It's what you do every other day that controls government. So once you go vote, we shouldn't get little stickers that say, oh, I'm happy, I'm vote, I'm done. You should get a little sticker that said, I attended my county commissioner meeting today, and I get it again this month, right. and I did right. it again this month. We need to go right. all the county commission meetings, all the city council yeah. meetings, all the school board meetings. We need to speak up, we need to step up, and we need to take back control. We gotta hold the line. Hold the line. Come on. Hold the line. And it's she not is taking us to school. <laughs> Donald Trump doesn't hold our line. Attorney Barr does not hold our line. We hold good. our line. That's good. And when we look to Donald Trump to hold our line or Attorney General Barr to hold our line, what we're saying is that we need people.
people to defend our rights because we're incapable. Right. And that's completely wrong. Wow.